गुड आफ्टरनून ऑल ऑफ यू थैंक यू थैंक यू सो मच ओके नाउ आई एम नाउ आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट क्वालिटी सीड प्रोडक्शन हाउ इट इज प्रोड्यूस्ड एंड हाउ यू कैन मेंटेन इट मेंटेन मीन्स ओनली द क्वालिटी फ्रॉम यू स्टार्ट अप टू योर फिनिशिंग स्टेज मीन्स अप टू द मार्केटिंग स्टेज ओके देन फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल यू हैव टू नो हाउ इट इज कंट्रोल एट द टाइम ऑफ योर लैंड प्रिपेरेशन योर लैंड शुड बी टोटली फ्री फ्रॉम वॉलेंटर प्लान्स विथ प्लांट अदर अनवॉन्टेड प्लान्स टोटली यू हैव टू रिमूव इट फ्रॉम योर सिलेक्टेड प्लॉट बिकॉज यू आर गोइंग टू प्रोड्यूस फाउंडेशन सीट और सर्टिफाइड सीट फ्रॉम दि फाउंडेशन सीट और फ्रॉम दि ब्रीडर सीट और फ्रॉम दि सर्टिफाइड सीट इट सेल्फ ओके देन आफ्टर दैट यू हैव टू नो फॉर दि प्लांटिंग डिस्टेंस फ्रॉम प्लान टू प्लांट एंड रो टू रो एंड साइड बाई साइड यू हैव टू मेन्टेन देयर आइसोलेशन डिस्टेंस दिस वेरी वेरी इम्पोर्टेंट फॉर सीड प्रोडक्शन ऑफ एनी क्रॉप मे बी सर्टिफाइड मे बी फाउंडेशन देन सीड रेट फर्टिलाइजर डोज टाइम टू टाइम इरिगेशन विड मैनेजमेंट इंटरकल्चर ऑपरेशन एवरीथिंग यू हैव टू डू स्टेप बाई स्टेप मीन्स एज एंड वैन रिक्वायर्ड यू हैव टू कम्प्लीट इट देन आफ्टर दैट हाउ हाउ यू कैन मेन्टेन देयर देयर क्वालिटी एंड हाउ यू कैन मेन्टेन देयर सेल्फ लाइफ और ऑल्सो देयर ड्यूरेशन मीन्स सेल्फ लाइफ ऑफ द सीड फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल बिफोर शोइंग यू हैव टू ट्रीट द सीड्स विथ टू टू थ्री ग्राम ऑफ केमिकल्स मे बी थाइराम मे बी बेबिस्टीन मे बी नूवन विथ वन किलो ऑफ सीड इट इज सफिशियंट फॉर वन किलो ऑफ सीड आफ्टर दैट यू हैव टू ड्राई इट और यू हैव टू शो फॉर फ्यू आवर्स देन यू कैन शोन इन योर मेन फील्ड यू नो वाई वॉट इज रिक्वायर्ड Why shocking is required? Remove Not remove. Uh, it means it is required only in case of a land if sufficient moisture content is not available. That's why you have to soak the seeds only for their immediate moisture content for their seed germination. It means quality seed production and also the developmental stages and also their storability. then you have to know what is the developmental stages of different crops develop means how it is developed from your showing up to their final stage means up to their pm stage that's why after showing you have to know their first emergence means 50% emergence that is field emergence 50% field emergence it is also required for your developmental stages of wheat or maybe any other crop means also the duration means up to what date if just you have to wait for the 50% of germination then next one plant height plant height is also a part of your developmental stages of different crops it means you have to measure their length with different duration maybe maybe from 10 days after showing maybe from 20 days after showing or maybe from 30 days after showing of different crops step by step you have to measure it how it is developed how it is growing hmm then how it is grown properly then you have to see what is the major time for the flowering it means days to flowering when it is occurred it is normally occurred depends on the crop and depends on the variety of different crops maybe within 55 to 75 all types of seeds all types of varieties of wheat it is totally in a flowering condition then you have to collect you have to collect one by one year with different duration with 10 days inter interval of wheat year year okay 
then you have to measure what is the length of the year. Length of the year. Maybe 10 days after flowering, you have to measure the length of the year. Then, number of spikelets per year. Number of spikelets per year. Also, you have to count it. After that, you have to count number of seeds per year. But when you want to go for developmental stages, minimum 5 years you have to collect from field. Minimum 5 years. After that, you have to average it. Then, the original data will come. Not a single one. Not a single one. Minimum 5, you have to take it. Or 10 or more. But not less than 5. Then, Hundred seeds, fresh weight. Also, the measure. Hundred seeds, fresh weight. Okay. Then, hundred seed dry weight. Also, you have to measure with different duration. This is also this is a part of ten days after flowering. On the time, there will be no seed. Only water you can get. Only water. Only water means totally moisture. Again, after 20 days of flowering, same points you have to classify it. Same point, same things. Here, you have to plug from your uh, field. Then, number of spikelets, number of seeds, everything. After that, number of effective tillers per plant. This is also a part of your developmental stages. Number of effective tillers. Next, next point, number of year per plant. Number of year per plant. It is also a part of this one. Number of year per plant. Then again, 30 days after flowering, you have to measure everything. Then 40 days. It means up to their PM stage, you have to measure it. PM stage, mainly 40 days after flowering in case of wheat. 40 days after flowering in case of wheat, the PM stage. On the time, it means 10 days after flowering, up to 40 days after flowering, their moisture content will be more. But after 40 days of flowering, it will be decreased. It means now the seeds are growing to be developed. This is your PM stage. On this stage, on this stage means on the PM stage, you can harvest the seeds or harvest the crop only for your seed purpose. You know why? After PM stage and before the HM stage, maximum insect, pest, and diseases may attack in your field and they can spoil your field. That's why it will be better if you want to harvest the crop only for seed purpose, seed purpose then it's better on the PM stage. Then next step, HM stage. It is a part of your harvest maturity. It means after 15 days of PM stage is known as HM stage. On this stage, normally, the crops can be harvested. Crops, not for seed. Then, next point, seed drying. The definition. Then, seed drying. Seed drying means, after collection of seeds from your selected field, selected plots, you have to dry it. Maybe by sun drying, maybe by artificial drying. Sun dry means, when you are totally dependent to sun, just like for nature, it is so costly, not costly, it is cheap. That's why farmers are normally done in sun drying. Some merits and demerits are there in sun drying. Merits means cost of cultivation will be reduced. Hmm? Cost of cultivation, because you are not going to produce or purchase any seed dry instrument. That's why cost of cultivation will be reduced than the artificial dryer. Demerit means, demerit means, if sometimes, what happens? Sometimes nature 
nature can spoil the seed. Maybe some other condition, some climatic changes can spoil the seeds. Just you have, uh, just you have used one a threshing floor or drying floor only for seed dryer or seed drying. Sometimes what happens, maybe some winds came, maybe just like rain and maybe, uh, maybe others can spoil your seed. Next point, other calamities. Next point, there is a more chance, chances for admixture from outside. Admixture. That's why when you want to dry from natural dryer, that's why a threshing floor or drying floor must be created by concrete or cementing floor. Otherwise, not possible. Then, artificial drying means either seed dryer, either oven, either desiccator. You can use it only for your seed drying. Merit is, time is less. Merit. And there will be no chances for admixture from the outside. Maybe from outside the field. Maybe from just like boys, they are playing cricket, football, just like and they thrown some stones, some sands. No need to re require. That's why artificial dryer is required. Only for the seed production from admixture and production from the nature. Demerit. Demerit means only the cost of cultivation will be more because you have to bring it. Lots of money you have to spend for purchasing the instrument. And demerit means sometimes electricity problem. Maybe short circuit can spoil the instrument, can damage your seeds. Yes or no? Next, cleaning. Cleaning means your seed should be totally free from admixture, free from other crop seed, free from affected seeds and others. You have to separate it. It is just like physical purity test. Also grading. Grading means good one, medium one, and bad one. You have to divide it. Maybe with the help of scalper, maybe with the help of spatula, or maybe with the help of seed divider. Gamut type, boundary type, so many dividers are there. They can use it. But those are so costly. Hmm? That's why we cannot use it. But when the progressive farmers, they are producing the certifieds or, or foundation or maybe other crop, they can use it because they are using so many plots, so many lands. That's why. But farmers are using only for maybe two hectares, maybe for three hectares, maybe for five or ten hectares, not possible for the farmers. Hmm? Foundation seed. Foundation seed means it is the progeny of breeder seed or foundation seed itself. It is produced directly from the government farms or from, or from the government organization. Maybe government university, SAO, state agriculture university, or from the yes. any, or from the any central organization or from NSC, SSC, CSC, just like. You can purchase it, they can use it. Types of seed, bidder, foundation, certified, registered, and one type of seed is there. Truthful level seeds. It is only a part of the farmers can use, farmers can produce. Not only farmers, sometimes produced by any seed company, produced by any other company. In this type of seeds, it does not give any guarantee for their physical purity. Sometimes depends on their seed degradation quality and also they cannot maintain their quality. That's why they does not use any brand name because only for their PP. No guarantee. Maybe 90, maybe 0, maybe 50, just like that. But breeder seed, it is produced only from the progressive, not farmers, plant breeder. In this type of seed, they can give you same person of physical purity. That's why you can use it. Use it. But sometimes cert some certification agency have issued a certificates. It's golden yellow. Only for the breeder seed, foundation seed, white color certificates they can issue. Registered purple and certified azure blue. Certified seed is the progeny of breeder seed, foundation seed, or certified seed itself. Itself, no? But what happens sometimes? Uh, sometimes uh, what happens? It means uh, when you want to 
just uh, produce certified seeds. It means you have to collect the seeds from foundation seed, from foundation or from any certification agency. Why? Because they can give you proper guarantee for their physical purity, their germination percentage, everything. That's why they can use it or then purchase it. Then importance, you know, what is the importance of seed? Because seed is a basic input of agriculture. Without seed, nothing is possible. Just like your horticulture crops, fruits, fruits are normally grafting, stemming, just like. But for agriculture crops, it is required. In horticulture crops, they are directly or, or indirectly depends on seed. Directly or indirectly. Seed quality, only when you want to uh, collect any seeds or brought any seeds from farmers or from any organization, you have to see their physical purity, the genetical purity, and also their seed health. Health means the quality of the seed. It is pure or not. It is disease free or not. Everything you have to check before you have to purchase. Hmm? Then what are the major characters for seed quality? High genetic purity, it means high vigorous. High germinability, seeds should be free from disease, pests and others. Then their viability will be more, viability will be more. Their genetic purity, physical purity, their initial moisture content, everything you can maintain. And proper size, shape and color. Those are major quality for a seed. But, but one thing, for the seed longevity, two types. Seed longevity, according to seed longevity. One is orthodox seed, another is recalcitrant seeds. You know very well. Orthodox means their moisture content will be minimum, 5 to 15 percent. Normally, cereal crops, cereal seeds. Recalcitrant means their moisture content remains 15 up to 85 percent. That's why we cannot store the seed due to their excess moisture content. Normally, fruits crop. Seed cleaning, you know, I've discussed seed cleaning, what is the purpose, what is required, all types of seed, no? It is required only for, you have to collect the quality seed from a particular lot or from a particular seed bag. Then, then one thing is that uh, before storage, before storage, you have to apply some seed treatment chemicals. Those are very, very helpful for your seed science or quality seed. Seed treatment. It is required only for protect the seed from enemy. Enemies, not humans. Enemy means just like some pest, some disease, some insect can spoil your seed. Na? That's why you have to apply some chemicals only for the storability. But side by side, your storage container should be obviously you have to treat it with some chemicals. Otherwise, if, just like if uh, the storage container is already affected with some fungal disease, they may spoil the quality of the seeds. Hmm? That's what is required. Then, seed storage, your storage room, you have to maintain storage room. How you can maintain? No, very well. Moisture content, extra moisture you have to remove. Threshing floor, created by concrete. No extra window, no extra uh, door. It is not possible for seed storage. Seed rack, you have to prepare it with proper glass method, glass method, everything. But before your packaging, before your storability, everything, everything means those are totally from their seed standard. Seed standard means their quality parameters. Their quality parameters, you have to check it. Otherwise, your seed certificate agency cannot approve it. That's why before packaging, Seed certificate officer will come to just like inspection and they will visit and they will take some sample for different taste. This is a part of quality seed. Proper yield, if you maintain the seed with good quality, then your yield should be obviously should be more yield. Why farmers are using the seeds, quality seeds, only for the income, only for their uh, means uh, high yield, means more yield, and also for the next generation. Uh, those are the instruments totally only to remove the extra moisture content, maybe desiccator, maybe dryer, maybe oven. But one thing is that when you want to store any seeds, 
it to maintain their temperature up to 43, 34, just like. Depends on your storability life or storage life. Hmm. Here, seed drying cabinet, how it is prepared, how you want to keep step by step. Some slabs are there, just show it here, here. Only used for the seed drying. It is also a seed drying room. Just see how it is prepared. They are using some boxes, using a cloth bag, only for storage in a storable room. This is also a part of seed storage desiccator. You can use it by a plastic paper, by polythene paper, by paper packet or cloth bag you can use in case of your desiccator. But for desiccator, you have to use fused calcium chloride and huh? silica gel. Major things for your desiccator. Then see viability test, you know, viability test. One thing is that a, re a rapid viability test is TZ test. TZ. What is TZ? Not tetrajulium. 2, 3, 5 triphenyl tetrajulium chloride. When you want to test it, first of all, you have to soak the seeds for overnight. Overnight, the next day you have to collect the seeds from your beaker, from your just any pot. After that, you have to cut it longitudinally, just middle portion. Embryo portion you have to take. Embryo portion you have to take for the viability test. Hmm? Only embryo portion. Then you may put or kept in a white glass, maybe 10, maybe 20, depends on you. After that, you have to add some TZ solution, drop by drop. You have to use it. Then you have to keep the watch glass in a dark place for two to three hours. If the seeds are viable, then their embryo portion will be changed. Means their color will be changed. Just like deep red or pink color. Why? Why it is changed? One chemical is there that is formagen. Formagen. You know formagen? That's why the color is changed. Only the presence of formagen. Because you are applying 235 triphenyl formagen or phenyl or bromide. That's why formagen will come. They go. How they put in a bloating paper for germination test? Uh, step by step, one by one, one by one. But before using the uh, bloating paper, you have to soak it. Soak it. After that, you have to put step by step, just like he is doing now. They go. Step by step with the help of forceps or spatula. Don't use your hand. That's why he is using spatula or forceps. Hmm? After that, you have to cover it. To cover it. Then roll it. After that, you have to keep it in a box. Then you have to put in a seed germinator for 10 to 12 days. Depends on the crop. What is required? This type. If you apply this type of process, then you will get their proper seedling length, their root length, shoot length, properly, because it's just a roll type, na? roll. Shoot should be there, root should be there. Dekho, how they kept? Totally, just roll in a box, then germinator. But what is not available? It is the trace content roll paper towels placed in an incubator. It is only a part of your seed germinator procedure, just roll it and take incubator or maybe dark place, not dark place. Because for germination, sunlight is required or light is required. Otherwise, it will not germinate. That's why germinate is, they have applied only for their proper seedling length. Dekho. After 10 days, 12 days or 15 days, depends on the crop, their length, they have to measure. Seedling length, means root length, shoot length. Then, one thing they can do, this is just like a part of speed speed of germination, means how it is germinate day by day. Just like for a five, uh, means for a first days, it will be zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, 
11, 12, up to 14 or 15 days, you have to count it, the speed. Up to third days, no seeds will germinate for wheat. Up to four days, some seeds will germinate, maybe two, maybe three, four, one, out of 10 seeds, out of 20 seeds, out of 30 seeds, depends on you. Then you have to plus, 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 calculate it. But you have to wait up to eight days. Because this is the first days, first count days. First count. First count percentage. Four days. It is your last count percentage. Eight days for wheat. For PD, 14 days. First count, five days. You have to wait up to 10 days for their seedling length. Up to 10 days you have to wait. But only for speed of germination, you have to wait up to eight days or 14 days. Depends on your crop. Hmm? Then, next step. Next step, after collection the seeds. After 10 days. But one thing is that, the time of your germination, out of 8 days, means duration of germination. Duration of germination for all types of seeds for the germination. Duration. Okay. Next step. Seedling length, root length, root length, shoot length, fresh weight, dry weight, germination percentage, vigor index. Sorry, it is not going on. Okay. Shoot length, fresh weight of the seedlings, means root length plus shoot length, fresh weight, then dry weight, cut it and just wait it. But for your dry weight, you have to keep for 17 hours. Depends on temperature of the dryer or oven. Dryer or oven you can use for seed drying. Not seed drying, seedling drying. But after 10 days. Hmm? Then germination percentage, out of 10 seeds, how many seeds will germinate? You can know easily. Then there, vigor index. Average seedling length multiplied germination percentage. The seedling length. Here, some, uh, some normal seeds are there, seedlings, and also abnormal seedlings. Why you know some abnormal seedlings are there? Abnormal. Due to the damaged, due to the affection, or affect by at the time of your scalping, time of your just like dividation, time of your just use for cleaning. Just That's why they are just like deformed, not uniform grown. It is just like abnormal seedlings, not growing properly. You know tetragelum test have discussed. Deco, tetragelum test. Soak the seeds after three, uh, three to four hours. Just see the color, this color, red color, every portion. Hmm? It means the seeds are viable. How many seeds? Just count it. And this is also a part of electrical conductivity. That's why for a VC, Again, you have to soak the seeds for one night. Next day, in case of beaker, you have to stir it properly. Then, just remove the seeds and measure the water. Then it will come EC. If EC will be more, then the, this quality of the seeds will be degraded. EC will be less means they are now they are in a good condition. That's why EC more means it's not good. Seed figure. Also a part of seed germination, all of the things. Strength and stamina of the seed for their proper growing with their proper seedling length, root and shoot. Also the germination percentage. Speed of germination discussed. Seedling growth test, totally from a seedling starting up to a last stage. Hmm? Seed health testing done by scientists. With the help of microscope or binocular, they be used. Let's see this one, this man. Then seed production. Just germination procedure. You cycle. Seed cycle, seed storage, seed bank, seed cleaning, seed production, fill establishment. Those are totally, those are including your in your seed production. First of all, field preparation, then sowing, then seed production, 
then harvesting, then cleaning, drying, cleaning, packaging, not packaging, treatment, packaging, storage, distribution, marketing, just like. Step by step, you have to follow. What is the uh, objective for a good quality of seeds? Objectives, generally purity and uniformity and should conform to the standards of the particular cultivar. Means, when you want to cultivate a different types of varieties, you have to divide it properly. Otherwise, it will be mixed and what happens? And their quality will be degraded and you cannot sell it in market be because some admixture are there, some different varieties are there, they are already involved in the seeds. Disease free and viable seeds, forest seed production, always it should be disease free, means good quality condition. Free from admixtures of both crops, weeds and inert matter, you know, what is this? Inert matter means unwanted, half or more than half of the seeds, weed seeds, stone, chips, maybe sand, all are there, na? just left it. Except a uniformity with respect to size, shape and color. It means for a good quality of seeds, their shape, size and color, everything they have to maintain. Otherwise, this is not a part of a good quality of seed. That's why all of the things they have to maintain. What is the major, uh, what is the major uh, objective for the seed production? Only for more income and more yield. More yield, side by side marketing. This is a field for the seed production. Outsides are totally engaged with different types of crops, but those are not available. And those are not useful for us. That's why maybe some admixture, maybe some wheat, crop, wheat crops or of type plants may come. That's why at the time of your seed production or at the time of your crop production, in case of a field, where you see some infected plant, some affected plant, some inert, not like inert matter, some weed seeds, when you see, just to remove it and throw outside. Or it will be better if you burn it. But outside from your field, not from the inside. Deterioration of crop varieties causes and maintains. Means how the deteriorate, how the quality of the seeds may be deteriorate. Why? Due to some development variation. It means different varieties are cultivated, but sometimes it is mixed. Mechanical mixtures, mechanical mixtures at the time of your sun drying, some mixtures may come or at the time of dividison, the mixture may come from outside. Selected influence of pest and disease, some disease and pest may spoil your crop and spoil the quality of the seed. It means totally it will be degraded. Mechanical mixture, the most important reason for varietal deterioration often take place in the time of sowing. More than a variety is sown with the same seed drill. Same seed drill. That's why when you want to use any seed drill, you have to clean it properly. You are using seed drill for seed sowing with proper distance, for maintenance the distance, plant to plant, art to art. That's why before using, you have to clean it properly. Otherwise, admission will come and spoil the quality of the seeds. Then, what is the major things for maintenance of genetic purity during the seed production if your selected crops or in your particular field? You have approved seeds only from a seed multiplication. That's why you have to collect the seeds only from the progressive farmers or from the any certification organization or seed certification agency. Then you can get quality seed. Inspection and approval of fields prior to planting. Inspection means when you want to approve for seed production, you have to go for a proper channel. Why? First of all, you have to write application and send to the seed certificate agency. After that, they will visit your plot and they will see how much area of land you want to use only for the seed production. If it is okay, then it is approved. Hmm? Next time, at the time of sowing, again they will come and again they will visit if the, if the land are free or not from others. Maybe of type, maybe, maybe weed seeds, maybe inert matter or others. Hmm? That's why inspection is required for maintenance their genetic purity. Sampling and sealing of cleaning lots. Sampling. At the time of your seed storage, they will come and collect some sample for different tests. They will send the seed in the seed testing laboratory. Maybe SSTL or maybe CSTL. Only for the different tests. Only for the maintenance their GP. 
Then, what is the suggestion for maintaining the genetic purity? Some, suggest some suggestions they want to give you. Providing adequate isolation to prevent contamination by natural processing or mechanical mixture. This is very, very important for producing a foundation of certified seeds. That's why I told you again and again, just keep maintaining their isolation distance, foundation and also for certified. Roguing of seed uh, fields prior to the stage at which they could contaminate the seed crop. Time to time, you have to go for roguing, just like weeding. It is just like part of intercultural operation. Just have to rog it. Periodic testing of varieties for genetic purity. Sometimes you have to collect and go for the genetic purity. Avoiding genetic shifts by growing crops in areas in their adaptation only. Certification of seed crops to maintain genetic purity and also the quality of the seeds. And adopting the generation system. Generation means only not a single generation. Next generation, next generation, next generation. Maybe when you want to produce a good quality of seeds, then you can use it for the next generation. Then again for the next generation. Just like it is a part of generation system. F1, F1 hybrid is there, no? You know seed quality, I have discussed already. Advantage of seed drying, early harvesting. It means you are not taking more time, but you want to harvest in PM stage, na? Before your HM stage, you have to harvest. That's why your plant should be oil and side by side you will get good quality of seeds. Land use, if you, if you want to harvest the crop in early stage, then, then again you can use the land for the next crop. Next crop, na? one by one you can use it. Green fooder, is harvested at high MC, the stalks remain green enough and this can be used as green fooder. Just like in case for your maize, if you want to harvest it in early stage, only you have to collect the cobs, other just you have to remain it. Na? Those crops are, those plants are so many useful for the fodder crops. Here, those are the, those are the instrument only for use for the seed dryer, seed drying and also for storability for few days to maintain their moisture content. Safe storage. When the seed is dried in safe moisture content, then it can be stored for long without loss of vigor and viability. That's why for your better storability, better means good quality of seeds, you have to harvest in PM. You know what is PM? Definition? Anyone? Not full form. I want to know the definition. Anyone? On the time, you will get maximum amounts of dry matter accumulation. That's why it is, it is good for your seed production. Then production from disease and paste. If you want to harvest it in your PM stage, then no chances for disease and paste. Low mechanical loss of seeds. If the seed is properly dried, that is less damage during processing operations and the efficiency of processing by machines. Sometimes what happens, if the seeds are dried more, then there are chances for the dust. It will be broken. Huh? More dried means what happens? It will dry easily. Just like when you want to see their moisture content, one moisture meter is there. Moisture meter. You have to use it, just some sample and tie it. After that, some moisture will come and seeds will be dust. There will be no seed, only dust are there. Just like chattu. Chattu is there, na? You know, principle of drying, what is required? Principle. Only to remove the extra moisture content only for the storability and only for the for their long duration, only for their self life period. Those are the major things, minimum moisture content for different dryers. If, if you want to stay their moisture content for 10 percent, then you have to use the dryer for 43.3 degrees centigrade. But for 10 to 18, 42 to 43. But for 18 to 33 percent, moisture content remains 32 to 33. But not more than 43. It's so harmful for your crop, for your seed. It will be totally damaged. That's why maximum temperature you can use up to 43.3. Not more than 43 and minimum 32. The rate of drying depends on the initial seed moisture content 
In cell means at the time of the storability. Size of the bin and capacity. What type of bin? Means just like instrument, you want to use it for the seed storage. Depth of the spread of the seed. Depth of spread of the seeds. Just depth. You have to measure it. The rate of air blow. Speed of the air. Atmospheric air temperature and relative humidity. On the time, you have to know their relative humidity and also their atmosphere, just like their moisture content. And drying temperature. Drying temperature for your, uh, maybe when you want to store 10 to 11 degree, then the drying temperature will be 43. Okay. Methods of drying, natural drying, artificial drying. Hmm? Drying with forced natural air, drying with forced artificial air, drying with desiccants and drying with infrared rays, infrared, just like ultraviolet. Physical drying or natural drying, just like sun drying. To achieve the uniform drying, the seed should be spread in thin layer. Totally thin, not more than, uh, just like thin layer you have to use only for sun drying. And day by day, you have to just like spread it with the help of maybe some jhadu, maybe some spade, everything you can use only for spreading. I will show you some photos. Hmm. Advantage, easy and cheap, does not require any expenditure or fuel and no need to go for any technical knowledge. Anyone can do. Disadvantage, the rate of drying is slow. That's why more time you have to wait for seed drying. The loss due to attacked by insect, birds and animals. Because you are using the threshing floor for drying, some plants are there outside your floor, some insects are there, some dust are there, some others are there, no? they may affect. Large flow area is required. If you produced only some area, maybe one acre, two acre, it means there is no need to go for uh, just like uh, extra area for seed drying. But if you want to produce more than five acre, six acres, means just like more area. That's why you have to use more land. But it's not available for all, no? not available for the farmers. That's why it is the disadvantage for the sun drying. Involves extra labor for collecting and exposing during the day. Extra labor you have to spend, na? Extra labor, why? Why extra labor? Just like for spreading, for collecting, for bringing, everything is required, na? That's why you have to apply more labor. That's why sometimes what happens? Sometimes your cost of cultivation will be more. Not for every time, sometimes. Due to the natural calamities, due to the rain, due to the wind. Sun drying causes sun checks or hot spots due to variation in temperature from time to time. Mechanical admixture are possible, mechanical admixture from outside. Dust, dirt and other foreign materials can admixture at the time of your spreading, time of your sun drying or time of your natural drying. High weather risk and damage by heavy wind and rains can spoil the seed and damage your seed side by side, they have degraded the quality of the seeds. That's why it is, it, it is a part of Demerit for the sun drying. Deco. What is this sun drying? That use this type of instrument or implements only for spreading seeds from one side to another side. Otherwise, lower portion will be some moisture will be there, and upper portion will be totally dry. Here and there. They are using the implements only for sun drying. Artificial drying. Merit means early harvesting. You can go for early harvesting if you want to go for the artificial dryer. Hmm? Why? On the time, moisture content will be 20 to 30 percent. You can store it easily in seed dryer, just like oven and just like desiccator. That's why you can use it easily. Hmm? Lesser time required if, if you are harvested in their PM stage. It means if you harvest early, that's why no need to go for extra time. Then you can use the land for the next crop. Next crop, na? Weather condition, the drying is not affected by weather condition and drying is possible in all of the season. If you're drying in proper time to time, then there will be no risk for natural calamities and no risk from admixture. Large scale drying, the drying can be carried on large scale, then larger acreage can be handled for seed production. Because you are producing large area, maybe 100 hectare, maybe 100 acre, 
That's why you can use one instrument. This is seed processing plant. You know, what is this? In a, in a particular seed processing plant, you can proceed 700 bags of seed in a day. Can you imagine? But it is so costly. This is not good for the farmers. Farmers cannot purchase it. If it is a progressive farmer, then you can purchase. Not for just like ours. Just, just like me, just like us. Cannot purchase it. So costly. 15 lakhs, 20 lakhs, more than 30 lakhs. Less mechanical mi mixture. If you are using the instrument for, for drying, that's why there will be no chance for the admixture, for Kami's admixture, from inert matter, from others, from outside, maybe from uh, inside, some dust are there na, in a room, some sand will be there. There will be no chance for admixture in case we want to use artificial drying, dryer, oven or desiccator. Demerit, expensive, it is so costly and technical knowledge, anyone cannot operate the instrument. That's why technical knowledge is required. Means expert you have to apply. Otherwise, not possible. No? That's why extra money you have to apply. Just like one labor, just like one uh, well, the educated labor, he just completed that BSc. He may be expert. After MSc, he may be expert. It means you have to pay more money because you are completed MSc or BSc. You can operate it easily. Where fire hazard sometimes happens as it is well dependent by electricity, then there will be chance in the shortcut. Short circuit is equal, no? Short circuit can be damaged, the instrument can be damaged the seeds. It is a heavy risk for the artificial drying, means artificial dry system. It is a dryer, sometimes bean dryer, bean dryer, short drying period, less damage or spoil during wet weather and drying is more uniform. If you want to use bean dryer, it is part, it is also part of dryer, you can use it, then time will be consumed, you can save your time, there is no chance from admixture. Advantage of mechanical drying, quick method, timely and uniform drying is possible. It is a quick method, means that is why, that is why in a day, in a single day, from 10 a.m. Up to 5 p.m., they can process 700 bags of seed in a day. Just imagine. It means quick method. Timely you can harvest it, timely you can store it, timely you can process it. Makes early harvest possible. If you want to harvest early, they can use the seed processing plant or dryer. It reduces the chances of losses due to over ripening and shattering of seeds. Just like uh, over ripening means more maturity. What happens? No need to go for drying. That's why it is required. PM stays. It is also required for your good dryer and for maintaining the quality of the seeds. Losses due to rodents and birds are prevented. It is an instrument. There is no chance for uh, going and coming any just a rat or others. No chance. Na? Totally closed. Closed containers. Just like aluminum containers. Aluminum containers. Maybe bean dryer. Maybe desiccator, there is no chance for rodent to go inside and outside. No chance. No. Less damage during processing operation. Less damage. Why? Why not export or import from one place to another place? There are no chances. Because you are using one cabinet system and work just like storage instrument. There will be no chances for damage. Permits long time storage by preventing sun checks and other damages. It means totally dependent. Sometimes it depended to sun drying. And before using the dryer, before using the containers, everything, you have to clean it properly. Then you can use it for your next season or for the purchasing, for the marketing. Disadvantage, initial cost of drying, the equipment is high. You know, it is so costly of the equipments. That's why this is demerit, this is part of demerit. Fuel is expensive, fuel. It produces possible fire hazards. There is more chance to uh, going for a short circuit. Considerable supervision is necessary. Means just like technical knowledge, expert is required for maintain the instrument, for maintain uh, just like uh, to prevent the seeds from admixture, prevent the seeds from uh, just like from other materials, maybe 
outside some moisture will come, some insect will come, everything they can protect. But here, here, only considerable supervision is necessary. Only the expert can do. We cannot do it. We cannot handle it. Because we have no idea about how it, how it is operated. No idea. We don't know. 